Hi, I'm Lindsay. Welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to show you a junk journal I'm working on and it is pink and flamingo themed. I do not have it bound yet. I'm going to be using my comb binding machine so I thought that I would show you the pages and then comb bind them as I'm talking to you. Um, I'm doing this for a friend who I thought needed, you know, something bright and cheery in their life. So the cover, this paper I got it Tuesday morning. It's um, kind of shiny and it's really thick and heavy and I put a little use my silhouette to cut out a flamingo and add a little bit of black on it and then cut out says beauty and then the first page here I'm using an old um, paper pack from um, Hobby Lobby it's probably 10 years old I don't even remember what it's called but I'm using a lot of those pages in here and then these heart stamps um, these I made with some foam and cardboard um, and then just stamped those here on this page. And then when we flip to the other page, there's a belly band and some journaling cards that are slipped in there. Let's go ahead and punch these in my comb binding machine. Hopefully that will, yeah, I'm going to put those on them. Okay. Hopefully this will work. I don't have too much stuff in it. <laughs> yeah, that one didn't go in far enough. Let's try that again. It's because of this little rhinestone on here. I probably should have punched them before I put the rhinestones on. Because, or punched them before I put any of the embellishments on. That would have been smart. Okay, punched that there. And that little bit extra on the edge won't even be a problem. Put my rhinestone back on. Okay. Then I have a little page. I like different sizes. These are actually like cut aparts, but I thought they looked cute as a whole page. And then I put a clear frame sticker here. Um, inked the edges in orange. Added some little corner there. The backs just left it plain because I like the polka dots. So I'm going to go ahead and punch that one as well. Okay, this one, more paper from that paper pack, and then um, I cut out this calendar like template from my silhouette, so you could write in, I stamped this here, banner stamp, um, you can write the month, write in the days. On the back we have an envelope that I inked all up, it's empty, you could put whatever you wanted in it, little butterfly punch with a Gemstone, rhinestone. Probably gonna need to take that rhinestone off again to punch this. Oh no, that one. That one's a little thinner. Hold on. There we go. Yeah, that worked. Okay, here's a square piece of paper. All I did was punch the corners and added this one stamp that says smile. On the back I have a little belly band and a little cut apart from a uh, pack Michael's pack hot by paper pack and I added a little um, cut out here and this is a little coloring page cloud page it had clouds all over the coloring page and I used watercolors just blue streaks and then used my silhouette to cut clouds out of that so a little cloud on the top it says 100% slips in the belly band that's that one punch it Okay. More paper from that paper pack and some punches and a rhinestone. Here we've just got some layered embellishments. And this is um, this is pretty please. That's my handwriting. Inked the edges. I gotta stop putting those rhinestones all the way on the edge of the page before I punch them out. Okay. I'll try punching that one. Still worked. I just have to take the rhinestones off and put them back on. I'll remember that for next time. All right, more paper. And then here's a little flamingo pocket. This was just a free printable on Pinterest. A little butterfly pop sticker, some tags, and journaling cards in the pocket. And then on the back, it's a doily, a little sentiment. Don't let anyone dull your sparkle. Plenty, plenty of room to journal punching this one. Okay. There we go. Okay. The 
another square piece, um, another flamingo for my cut out for my silhouette. And then on the back, it's a journaling card, a dot grid journaling card, some more of those homemade heart stamps, little heart and saying, it says, today I will. So a little journaling prompt. I think those are Heidi Swap sentiment stickers from Michaels. Here's a little glittered rectangle piece, a little smaller page. Some, um, actually this isn't flamingo paper. This was from a little um, post-it note and page flag, flamingo page flag top. And I just cut it off, put it on here, slipped a little tag right in there. Then the back has a little tuck spot and a tag. Punch that page out. There you go. More paper from the Hobby Lobby paper pack. Tuck spot, tag. On the back here, we just layered some embellishments, heart tag, and another flamingo, heart stamps in the background. It was kind of pink and flamingo themed. I did end up adding a lot of butterflies and doilies throughout it though. This was a cut apart from that Michael's Hot Buy pad. A doily I just folded in half and stapled with my Tim Holtz Tiny Attacher Gold Staples. A little button sticker right there in the middle. Make sure I punch this on the right side. Okay. Button's gonna get in my way. Hopefully not. Oh, it did a little bit. Let's see if I can fix that. That one might be a problem. We'll see. Some flamingo paper, blue flamingo paper, tuck spot, little homemade journaling card there. On the back, journaling card, it says the good life, and then a punch. Go ahead and punch that one out. More Hobby Lobby paper. Some journaling card and a little quote from Audrey Hepburn. On the back, more paper, a little pocket, with a cute little watercolor brush stroke tag that I made right in there punch that okay this one I just glued a flower on there for some extra interest this paper is super thin there's not too much you can do with it anyway on the back added some texture with some tissue paper this is more just a pretty page okay let's punch that all right this was a journaling card from, I think it was Peebles. I got it at, um, it was like a spring pack. I got it on TJ Maxx mm -hmm. Tuesday morning. And there was like 99 cents for a whole pack. It's really cute. It says, hello. I punched a heart out. And on the back, it's this really pretty pink grid. So we're going to punch that and add that. Okay, some more plain pink paper. Paper clipped on some cut apart, some punches on the back journaling card, little sticker from the Planner Society. I think that's what it's from. I inked the bottom all here in blue. Whoa, this one is kind of heavy. Okay. Square page. Little tuck spot. A big glitter heart and a little journaling card with punches stapled on it. Okay. Here is a greeting card with a journaling card that says documented in it. More another Heidi Swap sticker says made me laugh today. So a little journaling prompt you can write in there. Got a lot going on in this one. Let's see if that'll punch. Should have thought about this beforehand. Oh, that worked just fine. Another square page here. Little homemade journaling card to slip in there. On the back paper, this is a puffy seahorse sticker. I just pretty much went through my stash and pulled any and everything that I thought would would go. <laughs> there we go. Paper clipped on some ephemera. Some puffy stickers on the back. Oh, sticker's probably gonna get in my way. Let's see. Yeah. Just lift it up a little bit if you can. I'd have to take that off. I just took 
this off, it was too close to the edge. I'm gonna punch it and then I'll glue it back on after I assemble the book. There we go. Okay. Square page and some ephemera. This one says girl power. I inked the edges, punched a heart, and made this little tag. Stick in this little belly band here at the bottom. And some more flamingo paper, a little place to write something on the back. That one should be easy to punch. Okay. Some pretty gold foiled feather paper there and another Heidi Swap sticker favorite moment today. So journaling prompt. And then on the back, another journaling prompt, something that made me smile. A little ticket sticker there on the bottom, admit one. I used a little, it's not really vellum, but it's like a really thin see-through paper to make a pocket, some washi tape and then a little tag. I'm gonna go back and add some ribbon on that after I put it together. The back, just a strip of washi. So there's plenty of room to journal on this one. Okay, I used my Martha Stewart scoreboard, envelope scoreboard, made this little flamingo envelope. That's gonna be punched and put in there. So you can put whatever in it. Just left it back blank on the back so we could see that lovely flamingo. Rhinestone. Getting to me. Take those off again. At least they're easy to put on and off. Alright, let's slip that in. Punch it. That worked. Rhinestone's back on. Okay. So there's the envelope punched. It says sharing memories. And there's a little belly band with a big, huge tag that I made and it says love more. That goes right in there. Oh, that one. See, sometimes they punch off just a little bit. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fix that. I might have to put some washi on it. I'll have to play around with that page to get it to fit in there. This was printable from Pinterest. Cut it down. Add a journaling spot in another one of those watercolor tags that I made. Journaling, another flamingo. Stamped this and then just took a black pen and a straight edge and just made some dark black pen lines to journal. Flamingo coloring page. This was really fit thin and see-through so I glued it to a heavy blue cardstock and added a washi strip on the back so there's room for journaling. And then if you use markers or whatever to color this part, it won't bleed through and ruin this page. Another printable flamingo page, little embellishment on the back. Okay, this one has a lot going on. There's a belly band with it says one thing that made me laugh. There's a doily and a journaling card and another little mini journaling card. And then the back has some paper and a heart frame and room to journal. Yeah, and I'm probably gonna have to move those right yeah, out. I'm gonna have to move those rhinestones to punch it. That's not fun. Thick, thick, thick. Can't get it in there well. Let's try one more time. There we go. That worked okay. Mm, probably gonna have to wash you that one. It's going to be super thick anyway, so I may end up having to take out a page or two, especially if they didn't punch well, which is my fault. I should have punched all the pages before I decorated them. I did not think to do that, however. All right, let's put those rhinestones back on. Okay, there we go. Okay, here's a little tuck spot made from half a doily. I used the Tim Holtz Tiny Attacher with the gold staples to go all the way around to hold it. Also added some texture and interest and then a whole bunch of little teeny 
ephemera and cutouts you could write on, put pictures on, just leave in there, whatever. And a journaling card on the back. It says, enjoy the little things. So that's that teeny little page. Having some trouble punching these out, that's for sure. Okay, here we go. Here's a shiny paper tuck spot for a tag on the back. Some paper, washi, ephemera. I kind of went rhinestone happy. Yeah. Envelope. Put some washi here. This is another one I made. Empty. Put whatever you want in it. I made these triangle stamps out a little bit of interest. There's a paper here, some washi that says noted gold washi. This is a page from a textbook, from a literature high school textbook. I thought it was pretty. On the back, same thing. I just added some flamingo paper and heart banner. Some heavy duty card stock, little tag I added. It says, a moment I felt love today, so you can journal. And one thing that inspired me today, I wanted to leave a lot of room here. I'm gonna add some ribbon here to the top when I'm done. Punch it on the right side would be helpful. Okay, watch out. All right, these. This is truly junk journaling. I had a box of envelopes where it was just totally the humidity in our house had sealed them shut. So I cut the side open, put in a journaling card, and I used some Heidi Swap Color Shine to add some interest to it. Puzzle page, some glimmer mist. I don't know if you can see that. Added a little, stapled a little piece there. into the junk more of the junk junk journaling here in the back of it some color shine on this doily page here belly band it says looking forward to and then there's a little tag you can write your journaling on go ahead and punch that out there we go just a piece of notebook paper with some washi on the front and back lots of room for journaling List making, whatever she wants to do with it. And one more envelope, flamingo envelope. It says something I bought today, so you could put receipts in there. Whatever. Cute little heart flamingo paper. Just think I found that one free printable on Pinterest somewhere. All right, let's try to punch that out. Thanks. Yay, that worked. And the back cover. Just put a sun in there. There's the back cover. And so those are my pages. I'm going to fix the few that did not punch correctly. I think I'm just going to put some washi over it and re-punch it. And then I'm going to use a coil binding to bind it all together. So I hope that those pages gave you some inspiration, some ideas for some very simple um, junk journaling using your stash. I didn't go out and specifically buy any of this. I just kind of had in my mind an idea, which was bright pink flamingos, and then I just started adding and adding and adding, and soon blue became a big part of it, orange became a big part of it, and I kept finding more things that would go in it. It's gonna be nice and chunky. I might even use a ribbon for a closure, we'll see but I got a little more work to do with it. All right, thank you for watching and subscribe if you wanna see more videos. I know I'm just starting out um, this channel, but I'm going to be posting a lot more and you can take my crafting journey with me and hit like if you like this video, if you want to see more uh, junk journaling type ideas and what I'm working on, let me know in the comments below.